Treasure chest. opportunity of sitting down with the Apostle one-on-one. -on -one. Kindly please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Hi, my name is John. I'm from original, I'm original from Botswana, but I came from Ireland. So Apostle uh, looked at me and then uh, he told me, he said, there is a marriage problem. So um, he told me that there is a spirit, family spirit, that is blocking me from getting married. So he spoke about my fiance. Um, who is in, who she is in, in Ethiopia, so, and uh, things are not getting together. But he told me that after we break this spirit, then the marriage will stand. So, um, he also... And how long have you been trusting in God for marriage? Uh, it's been for three years now. I've been with her since three years. And uh, for about a year or two, Things has not been working well, so I've been trusting God for that. Yeah, amen. yeah, amen. And what else did the apostle talk to you about? Uh, the apostle also talked about uh, the area where my fiance is. So he talked about witchcraft, about a river near the place where people wash themselves and do rituals there. And those things are also affecting the whole area uh, where she lives there in Ethiopia. Um, yeah, so he also spoke about uh, my calling. So, but he said I should not do anything yet, so I should solve out this issue of marriage first. And then uh, when it's God's time, then I can do the ministry of God. Yeah. And how do you feel after a one-on-one -on -one session with both the Apostle and Prophet Andrews? Uh, I just feel like my, uh, you know, my, you know, my questions were answered. You know, because I was like, why is these things not happening? But when he revealed, they revealed, both of them revealed the real roots of the, of the problem. And uh, they told me that the thing will be broken and I'll come here and testify. So I, I feel a bit relieved. Thank you, sir. So they stopped you from working? Yeah, last week. <laughs> so they are, they are saying they will call me. Um, I don't know when. But because you are praying? Yeah, I was praying. They took me to court. You know. Because of prayer. Because of prayer. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Dr. John uh, from Ireland, originally from Botswana. Um, I'm just here to just confirm um, uh, uh, my encounter with one-on-one uh, -on -one with Prophet uh, Andres. So, yeah, so the, the main reason that made it come here was um, I saw the man of God in, in YouTube um, and then I saw a dream, you know, of me and my fiance here um, and we were testifying, you know, at the church. So I'm like, oh, this should be the right church for me. My breakthrough is there. You know, and then I just decided to come here right away. So uh, when he looked at me, he asked me if I'm a prophet, you know, uh, and then I told him that I had a call from uh, God. So about three, three pastors, three prophets told me before that I have a calling. So I confirmed that to be true. So uh, but at the moment, uh, like I said, I'm a medical doctor, so I have not yet walked in my calling. You know, so that prophecy is true because I've been told before by other men of God. So he told me, prophesied to me that I am a prayerful person. So I, I confirm that to be true because I always pray, 
all the time and he said I lost my vision so when I was young I used to see a lot of things but now it's fading off so I confirm that to be true because uh, of the problems in my life you know so of the stress in my life stress of my job stress of my marriage he confirmed all that and he said the only thing in my life is the marriage issue you know so and he said that my fiance uh, whom I'm seeing at the moment uh, he said that she's giving me a lot of issues she is choosing between her family and the other guy who is trying to be with her you know and he told me that this is all because of the idols in my family uh, uh, back home from Botswana and I confirmed that to be true because when I was growing up um, I used to see this you know like a baboon spirit like they call it tikoloshi in our in our you know in my family so when I pray it just comes sometimes it comes even physically you know it will just open the door and come and then I see it it goes away so I confirm that to be true that there are idols in my family that are because no one is getting married in my family so he said that um, all areas of my life are, are okay except my my marriage uh, and also a little bit of a problem with my career because last week I was told to leave the hospital because of my criminal record so they couldn't see properly uh, my criminal record because I had a court case in July so I was caught praying so they took me to court and then the judge uh, did not convict me you know the, so the judge I did not plead even guilty so I was the case was dismissed but now it was not updated in the system this is why uh, they told me to leave the hospital and they will call me uh, uh, whenever you know so I confirmed that to be true also because the prophet said a little bit of a problem in my career but not major and all other areas of my life are okay I just accept my marriage but the prophet said um, everything will be restored will be turned upside down and she will come back because her family uh, they do not want any other man to be with her they just want me to be with her because I met her through prophecy so um, I was prophesied by one man of God uh, in Zimbabwe there so he told me this is the one uh, and when I'll meet her before I even met her you know so the prophet uh, Andres was was right when he was saying uh, she's the one she's going to come back because the devil is attacking he's seeing the star of my of my future ministry with her you know because we're planning to do a lot of businesses with her so now because her family have closed doors for any man uh, to be with her so there's no marriage that can happen between her and any other man because her family has to approve so she she's in between choosing her family or going with that other guy who is kind of confusing her you know because of this idols and all so um the prophet say he prayed for me and then uh he also said uh, there is a spiritual wife which is sponsored by these idols you know so but he prayed for me and he said i'll meet uh the apostle tomorrow for more prayers you know so i confirm everything to be to be very true you know and he also asked me if i'm writing books so i'm like uh that's what i was planning in the future to you know to also write books you know and and the prophetic ministry as well yeah uh i think that's it thank you very much uh, uh i feel relieved uh to be honest because i got you know uh the direction from god because i was thinking a lot i'm like uh, this this girl she's my fiance i was prophesied by another prophet that i'll meet her and now things are going the other direction should i just move on or should i i needed confirmation you know uh, uh, uh and because she's she, she also has a calling you know so we're destined to be together so i i feel relieved that god has given me direction to to not go anywhere and uh, nothing will happen so everything will be restored back you know so i feel i feel relieved and i believe for more tomorrow uh i would say just you know keep believing in god even if things are not working because myself i've been through uh to a lot of men of god around the world i've been to nigeria i've been everywhere you know so uh you just need to to keep on pressing until 
until you find an answer you know uh, in whatever you are believing in don't quit keep on pressing and come here and experience the power of god i have seen even in youtube the man of god apostle makanan is delivering even pastors you know pastors who have big churches and they still manifest the demon you know so and i was praying at the altar even at midnight i had a good great experience there as well the presence of god was so strong there so i just encourage you to look for a living church you know come here and test the power of god and uh keep believing in god and never give up keep praying uh day and night until you get whatever you need and also put in the word of god uh daily read the word of god and uh live righteous